Okay, you have to be able to understand frequency charts. The SAT loves them. Maybe when you did mean, median, and mode back in grade school, you didn't really look at charts this way, and I'll show you how to bring it back to what you're familiar with, but this is the kind of question that should be five seconds. You should be able to look at this and understand that the minimum value of this set is 19. Literally, right? It says value in this left-hand column, and 19 is the smallest number. So why the seven, the one, the seven, the four? Well, that's telling us how many of each value there are, but those numbers are not part of our data set in the way that 19, 21, 23, and 25 are, right? So let's just say that these are like the ages of people in a college class. There are no seven-year-olds in that college class. There's no four-year-old, one-year-old. The, the ages are 19, 21, 23, and 25. There are seven 19-year-olds, there is one 21-year-old, seven 23-year-olds, and four 25-year-olds. And you should never ever do this, but just to make it really clear what a frequency chart is telling us is it's condensing a list of data. So if I were to write this data out, I would have to write the number 19 seven times, that's four, five, six, seven, one 21, Seven 23s, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four 25s, 25, 25, 25, 25. 25. And this is why frequency charts exist. Look at how long this list is. This is too much for my brain to handle. If I had to find the median or the mean, this is just like annoying, right? I have to kind of count them up and add everything. There's just much more room for error when the list is drawn out. And lists can get really, really long, whereas a frequency chart is condensing everything. So like I said, we need to be able to read these things. This is a guaranteed part of your SAT. They're gonna give you either a frequency chart, a histogram, a dot plot, something that takes a data set and kind of uses almost like two axes, two, two columns to understand that data. So we need to be able to sort through it. This is probably the easiest way that they're gonna make a sort, but still nonetheless, we need to be able to do it very quickly and guarantee ourselves these 10 points.